Hi guys, I'm back with day 10 of my December daily for 2015 and this day I am working on a full six and a half by eight and a half page on the left and on the right is going to be a four up page, pocket page. So on this one I'm going to futz around a little bit with this and then I'm going to end up deciding not to put the little cutouts of the magazines that you see there. I'm going to end up putting them on the other side of the page in a little flip up pocket. So now I am just working on the matting of the photo and I'm using the green polka dot paper, the green and white polka dot paper here. I'm going to trim it down just slightly. I didn't like how I was going to have too much green around the edge. I want to see kind of those white polka dots or those cream colored polka dots. And then I'm going to mount this on top of the gold vellum paper with the stripes on it. And that vellum paper came from Stampin' Up! and I'm going to end up mounting that on the bottom and I'm going to end up trimming this out with a little bit of the gold stripe washi tape and if you watch my video from the other day um, I made this pocket on the other side and I had all these kind of problems with it so I ended up having to put this gold washi tape all the way around to seal the pocket in even better on the other side so that's what I'm doing there and that's why I'm kind of futzing with that. So like I said I'm not going to end up using these little cut apart magazine pieces this is pictures that my daughter had circled in a magazine that she wanted to get for Christmas presents. So I'm going to end up just mounting the photo on the bottom of this page instead. And then I'm going to do kind of a clustering of, of paper and things like that in the top section here. And I'm adding this tab that says all I want because she is filling out her letter to Santa. And I'm going to take this 10 card and I'm going to trim it out. I want to make it look like it's another tab type of thing. So I'm going to use another tab from my stash and then kind of make this card look like it is like a little file folder. So I'm going to trace the straight line and then this tab and I'm just going to trim that out and then erase my pencil lines and then it's going to look like it's a little file tab. I'm going to do the same thing with another scrap piece of paper using the same exact technique and I'm going to fast forward through it so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing over again but I'm going to basically take that star paper and do the same thing. So I'm going to show you that just here how I start it and now it's finished and the video is going to cut out and in just about two seconds I'm going to come in and just talk about what you didn't get to see in my process video so in a minute here you're gonna you're gonna hear me flip back over and kind of describe what I ended up doing with this page so here you go hi guys um, while I was filming this um, particular page I ended up running out of battery so I just finished it up but I wanted to show you guys what I ended up doing on the page um, what I left off with was I put these two pieces of paper down and I added the tabs to each one and this is just a 3 by 4 card that I cut down and this was also a scrap of a 3 by 4 card that I punched something out of the middle. Sorry, my doggie's barking because I'm talking. Let me get a little bit closer. So what I also did was I ended up putting this typewriter because my daughter was writing a letter to Santa so I thought this typewriter was appropriate. Um, I also had this chipboard. It's kind of a holographic. Let's see if you can see that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, star. <clears throat> and then I tucked in some of this gold foil washi tape that has the, what is it, that craft kind of tape on it. So it's like a gold shiny, there you go. And I tucked it in there and I tucked it in here and I also tucked in one of the snowflakes that I stamped on vellum. I tucked that back here. And then again because she's writing a letter to Santa I added this Believe. And then just to give it a little extra dimension, I ended up popping up all of these tabs. I popped up this tab, this tab, and then I also popped up the back of this typewriter. Just to give it a little more dimension, I wanted the, the cards to look like they're kind of popping off the page. Like if you had been filing them and they're kind of worn, so they're they're popping up. So, um, and I can't remember if I said this, but I added this star, or star, a heart too. And so that's pretty much it. Um, that's kind of what it ended up looking like once I was finished. I'll get a little bit closer so you guys can see that a little bit better. Like I said, there's that snowflake. And then, oh, and I also added these word phrases. These are from the, the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So that's that. All right, so I'm going to move on to the right-hand side of my page, and I'm going to put you on fast forward. Thanks, bye. All right, so now I'm working on the right-hand page, and like I said earlier, it's going to be a four three by four photos or pockets on this side and I'm going to add a little bit of journaling for this card. My husband had cut my daughter's bangs and he took some pictures so that is what that picture is of and I thought I since I trimmed off that little piece on the bottom of that little journaling card I decided to put it up there in the top left. So you can see me sticking that down now 
and I'm just gonna fiddle with this until I get it nice and straight and it's just all spruced up because she decided to get a dress on and everything like that so she looked all fancy so now I just added a little star sticker I'm going to I think at the bottom and I'm going to add this little heart and I'm just gonna emboss it with the red glitter embossing powder and heat it up with my heat gun to make it all stick and I'm going to then glue it down and it fit perfectly right there nestled in that little space where the journaling was and I did not mean to do that on purpose it just worked out really well so I thought it fit perfectly there so next I'm going to work on the oh, oh I'm gluing it down because it didn't quite stick because I think when I pulled it up to adjust it it didn't like to stick very well so now I'm going to work on this bottom left photo and I'm going to end up making this little a little flip up um, this is a picture of my daughter's letter to Santa and I wanted to include some of these magazine cutouts that she was going through her magazines to try to figure out what she could get for Christmas so I'm going to use those cutouts here in the flip out and I like it better here because I don't know I felt like they were kind of distracting on the page where you can actually just see them when you first look through the album so I thought putting them in this little flip up would be a good option so I'm just looking through my 3x4 cards trying to figure out some ones that I don't mind um, cutting up or covering or things like that so for the bottom one I found a 3x4 card but for the top one I couldn't find anything that I really liked so what I am doing is just trimming out a piece of paper and on this one I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller so it has the white frame around the edge and here I'm working on the pocket piece so I'm just adding this little piece of paper so that I can glue the two pieces together and then I'll have a flip up card that you can flip up in the page so now I'm gluing down that and I'm going to end up adhering all of the little magazine strips and for this bottom one I felt it was a little floaty so I was trying to figure out something else I could do but I end up just gluing it down and there you can see my little kitty cat and sorry about the camera shake that's due to my little kitty he was trying to visit with me while I was scrapbooking so now I'm trying to figure out a few more things to do with the other cards on this layout and I'm looking for some stickers to go on that top right elf card and I'm gonna end up using some phrase stickers and a little star sticker kind of making it look somewhat like a Christmas tree so what I am end up doing is I'm gonna put snow with these little word tile stickers from the sticker sheet on top of that craft and gold washi tape and then I'm going to trim it out just a little bit and then that's gonna go at the bottom the snowflake is gonna go right on top of that and then like I said the star is gonna go on top of that so it says winter wonderland and this is about as much winter wonderland as we had it was like really warm where we live for Christmas so um, we didn't have a whole lot of Christmas or a whole lot of snow or any no snow actually so I decided not to actually use that snowflake and I'm going to use the star instead and now I'm going to work at the top left and I'm going to end up making a little pocket page with that little ampersand and the back of the ampersand is plain and because it's going to show through on the other side what I decided to do was take some of my snowflake stamps and just stamp it down with two different kinds of snowflake stamps and then I'm going to use some silver embossing powder to emboss and then that way when you look at the back side from the other page it's not going to look so plain and it turned out okay um, so I'm going to stamp all that all over the place put the embossing powder and then heat that up and then I'll fast forward so you can not have to watch me heating all of that so I put some embossing powder down and then I found out where some of the blank spaces were so I then filled those blank spaces in with the other snowflakes so there it goes I'm just gonna stick that in the pocket and then I'm gonna end up putting in some of my chunky gold glitter in this pocket and of course it's going to spill everywhere because that's just how things work and I to seal the pocket I just received a fuse or actually I just picked up a fuse because I had a really good deal at Michaels for 50% off so I didn't have that when I made this layout so what I ended up doing to seal the pocket is just using some more of that crafting gold washi tape to do that oh in here since I spilt it all and I couldn't get it off because of the static I'm just using some washi tape to pick that up so that's a good trick I mean, you can also use those lint rollers that picks up the glitter really well too but I was just using what I had there in my stash 
So here I'm trimming up that piece of washi tape to seal off the pocket and then that's pretty much going to do it. I'm going to show you some close-ups of each of the cards. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys and thank you guys to all of my existing subscribers and any new subscribers that I've received over the last couple of days. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.